gosh, you guys. So this photo, we were at the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards and we've actually won three times. Um, but this was the first moment when my sister and I, I would say, uh, realized how successful Sister Sister was. How would I describe Sister Sister? I would say it's kind of like your classic, fun family comedy. It's a show that the whole entire family can sit down and watch and just have a good time and enjoy. And also, it has such longevity because the storylines are so classic and relatable to all genres, all different countries. Um, and I think that's what made the show so amazing. <gasps> oh, look at this. We were young. We were, we look like we're 12, but we were actually 14 or 15 here. Yep. Oh my gosh. This is, we were so excited. You can tell in our faces. Like we were so excited to have a show. We always had fun with those hats. They were always a part of our, um, our wardrobe. It was something that the writers and, you know, everybody wanted to put us in. I can see why. I mean, it's so cute. And we're like, dress the light. <laughs> so my character, um, I played Tia Landry and I was very, um, I would say I was very much like my character and Tamara as well. But I, I can even go further. A lot of the storylines were very much like what we were going through um, during that time when we would go into production for, for the year. Um, every year we did this and we did six years of Sister Sister. We would sit down with the producers and the writers and we would tell them how our summer was. And we would tell them, you know, what we were going through, whether that was like dating or prom, you know, um, stuff that we were struggling with as teenage girls. And then they would turn them into storylines. I wish we would have gotten producer credit for that. <laughs> I'm older now. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so the, so the storylines and our characters were very similar to who we are as people. Oh, this is one of my favorite photos of my sister and myself. And the reason why I like this photo is because whoever this photographer was, kudos to you, because I feel like they really caught the essence of my sister and I. And this is like us really being ourselves, you know? When you're in a photo, you know, sometimes they want you to kind of like ham it up and like cheese and smile and like get really excited, you know, which is awesome. And it's great. It's another side of who you are. But this is definitely more of the real side of who my sister and I, who we are. She was always the one that would, you know, kind of do cute stuff like that. And I was always like the kind of funkier, you know, one still to this day, even when we choose our wardrobe. Working with my sister was a dream. Um, it never really felt like work. It just felt like an extended slumber party um, because she was always there, you know? Um, we would run our lines together. Um, you know, we experienced set life. We experienced um, just being actors and going through that journey as a child actor together and to be able to have a built-in partner what do I think Sister Sister showed about sisterhood? I would say it captured the ups and downs, you know, in a relationship with your sister, with, with your sister. And what I mean by that is when you have a sister or when you have siblings, not everything is gonna be perfect. You know, you have different opinions, you have different views on things. Um, you know, there's even moments where there's, you know, a little bit of jealousy. Those are like real, you know, I guess stuff that a lot of sisters go through and, you know, sister, sister definitely embody that sisterhood. But what I, what I love about it is whether there were differences at all, the sisters always came together and they would always solve their, you know, solutions that they were kind of going through at that point in time. But then not only that, I think the biggest thing for the takeaway that sister, sister 
I feel like embodied sisterhood was the support that these two sisters had for each other. Whether they got, you know, lost somewhere, they were there for each other. Whether they were just learning how to drive and one of them got into an accident, you know, they were there for each other. If one of them, you know, was hurt because a boy hurt their feelings, they were there for each other. And I think that's what was so beautiful about Sister Sister. I think one thing that I like about Sister Sister was it wasn't necessarily your traditional family. Um, and I feel like we still need that today in regards to story and you know television shows that are on the air. I feel like we have gotten better, but I think it's important to put a spotlight and showcase all different types of dynamics of the family, right? We were adopted and Jack A and, and Tim didn't know each other and we were all living under one roof and they weren't together, you know what I mean? They weren't in a relationship. So I was like, what is this family really doing? <laughs> what is really going on in their household? Um, so yeah, I think that's what was cool about it too. Oh gosh. Working with Jack A and Tim was incredible. Um, these are two legends, you know what I mean? And to be able to be new, because we had never done a television show before we did this, and to be able to walk on set and to have people who were supportive and guiding you through the process, telling jokes, how to tell a joke. She was so funny. She, she used to always say, Jack A used to always say, all right, Tia and Samira, put up your books on how to be a diva. Let's turn to such and such page. It was so much fun. And then Tim, he taught my sister and I, he said, what's what's the, uh, the, the, the key to comedy timing? And so he taught me how to be funny. Like it was all about timing. So to be able to grow up with two legends, you know, and then that they were supportive of us because we were new, they had patience. Um, was a great experience. I think what's so amazing is how people are still talking about Sister Sister 25 years later. It is crazy how I could just be walking down the street and I could see a family that has seen Sister Sister. And what I mean by that is the mom and the dad grew up watching the show and then they had children that watched the show. So the whole family knows about Sister Sister. It's like mind blown, it's crazy. I think it's just a testimony to why Sister Sister was just so magical. And again, these are like years later after we had finished the show. But I think it just, you know, it, I think it shows that classic family comedies are wanted, desired, and needed and, you know, Sister Sister provided that, and it still does to a lot of families. So 